a very warm welcome back to Carmsden Farm for episode three with me, Mr. Sealy P. Hello ladies and gents, it's been a while, obviously if you've just watched the last episode and you're starting to this one, it hasn't been a while, but it has been for me. Where are we at? We're on the same day, early part of September, or same day, yeah, same part of the month. As you've already seen, mulching has been done down on field 23, the rain did stop, as you can see the bales are off the field, and I did these all manually, and if you don't believe me, here's the stack. There's no automatic bell trailer that will unload like that. Um, yeah, did them all with the telehandler. Bought them in ones and twos and stacked them up. So how many bells have I got? I've got 50. If I check my thing, oh, I think this will be right. <laughs> That's where it all goes. I'll be wrong. Uh, bells produced 73. So I did um, three bells I already had of hay for the sheep. I say I had, the farm had. I've done 50 bales here. Each of these is 11,000 litres, which means we've got 550,000 litres of straw sitting there. And 20 bales came off of that field over there, and I sold those. The money went out, the money's come back down again. Uh, the mulcher, I've now mulched all of those fields, so um, yeah, it took absolutely ages. And um, where are we? Let's go to soil composition. Let's take off ploughing off lime. So as you can see, field 23, field 3, field 6 have all been mulched. Field 2 we own, didn't need um, mulching, that had already been done. But all of these need ploughing and all of them need lime. So what we're going to do is get those done. So this is all field prep stuff. This is stuff that needs to get done before we move on to the next task. The next task is going to be, I think, silage and haymaking. If we want to do... A bakery, we're going to need butter, which means we're going to need milk. So we're going to need at least some cows. I might be able to lay my hands on some butter. There may be some nefarious activities happening. I know people won't like that. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. But anyway, that's a wrap. Uh, the ploughing needs to be done next. So I'm in a real dilemma here, and I suppose this is no different. So, you know, if, if you're doing this across well, whatever farming you do. Uh, on smaller farms, it's not so bad. But what I have found on larger fields like these ones here on Carmston, most of the equipment and machinery scales up. On Carmston, well, not on Carmston, on any map where you've got big fields, mulchers don't. The largest mulcher we've got is six metres, isn't it? Have we got a larger one? And the same with the stone picker. The stone picker's five. So I need to plough all of these fields out to get the yield I want to get. Problem is, and then unless I turn stones off, 
but then I really, on these size fields, the amount of stones we'll get, I could stick them through the lime crusher and we could make a bit of money. So I'm in a bit of a dilemma here. What do I do? Using a five metre stone picker, it's going to take so... I mean, the mulching took absolutely ages. So I don't really know what to do for the best. It's, it's, a, it's, a, bit of a, it's a bit of a pickle. So yeah, things like mulching and stone picking, you get 5% bonus for doing it yield bonus you've got to ask yourself for the time taken is it going to be worth it oh that was the thing i was to say uh, these fields are now fully fertilized because i take that off that off and that off i fertilized straight after harvesting so we then came in mulched fertilized again now they need plowing and they're going to need lime so uh, that one i haven't done yet because i haven't done anything else with that field uh, I've also taken on a sowing contract on field one. I've borrowed their equipment. We have got seeds in our seed silo, so we'll crack on with that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of, that's where we're at. I've, I've got to get all this done. Um, a few comments. Thank you to everyone that's been commenting. Thank you for everyone's concern. Let's get that off the field. I need to, I'm trying to work out what I'll do these in. I think what I'll do is I'll get the sowing contract underway. Hang on. We'll get this back. Yeah, I'll get the sewing contract underway. We can get that running. And then what I'll do is I'll get the ploughing done. Yeah, so thank you to everyone that's been commenting. Thank you all for all the messages, all the well wishes, all that kind of thing. Um, I think there's a little bit of confusion because I talked about going to do a tree planting for my father in law with Mrs. Silly P. That's not this weekend coming, next weekend, the weekend of the 12th of February. Um, I have been away for a few days. We had an unexpected trip we had to take. Um, it was unplanned, unexpected. We, we, yeah. I'm not going to go into more detail than that, but we had to go away for a few days. Um, so, all the people that are wishing us a happy vacation, that kind of stuff. We're going to go and do the tree planting, yeah, like I said, the weekend of the 11th, 12th, 13th, that Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so, yeah. Um, I know it coincided, unfortunately, with me making that, doing that post on Facebook regarding the game crashes and um, giants sorting out and that kind of thing. And I think a lot of people assumed I'd throw my toys out the pram and decided not to make videos anymore. That was not the case at all. Um, so, yeah. I'm back, but only for a few days. Um, we're heading off next Thursday, actually. Um, so we've got a seat in the seed tank. Actually, I don't know what this contract, what I've got to do for this contract. Sewing. Oh, it's wheat anyway. We're on wheat, that's good. Can I cut through? Do I leave the door open? And will this fit? I did leave the door open. And I've left all those things on as well. It's going to take quite a while, and I'm not sure how many times I have to refill with seed. But the good thing with this, because I've borrowed equipment this time, we have got a cedar, but I thought if I borrow the equipment, if we leave it filled with seed and we return it, we'll make a bit of money back on that. So, you know, why not? So while we're cracking on with this, yeah, the other thing I was going to say was, um, say thank you for all the comments and all the messages and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have been trying everything people have been suggesting with regard to let's get the right side so we can see it with regard to all the issues with game crashes and that kind of thing. So I'll I'll let you know where I'm at and where I stand at the moment. I know people are still sending me messages saying it's certain mods that are causing the problems. It's not. It's not a certain mod at all. Um, it's happening with all sorts of stuff. You know, it, it can happen with any mods. It can happen with in-game mods. Uh, not in-game mods. In-game stuff. It's something with the store menu. For some reason, when it goes to load up the options for whatever mod it is, it just seems to trip out. Now, somebody did message me, and I, I was, while I was away, um, someone messaged me and said, oh, are you using an external hard drive? Now, I do have an external hard drive plugged in. And they said, if you've got the game saved to the external hard drive, that's causing it. That's what the problem is. So the whole time I was away, I was thinking, right, okay, when I get back, I can't remember where it's saved to, whether it's saved to the console, whether it's saved to the external hard drive. I'll check that out. Um, 
really, really, really putting all my hope in the fact that that's what it was, that I, that I had it on the external hard drive. When I came home, I haven't. Um, what I have done, though, is I've unplugged my external hard drive just to see if that makes any difference. Um, but that being said, um, I've got my PlayStation 5 set up where I do all my recording and stuff um, out of my little cubby hole under the stairs, my little Harry Potter office. Um, and in my living room, I've got my PlayStation 4 Pro, which I used to do all my recording and stuff on before I got on PS5. So yesterday evening, we got back um, from our trip. I sat in the front room, I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll set the PS4 on. I've got FS22 on it. Um, I'll load it up and I'll fiddle around. I'll have a look at the mods. Well, the game crashed on there as well. Not PS5, PS4, no external hard drive. Um, I didn't have any other mods installed other than the mods that came out yesterday. And I thought I'll just have a quick look through, at least I can kind of get my head around it a little bit and then maybe today um, I'll do a mod review. And it did exactly the same thing on PS4. And I, I, that kind of lends even more weight to, to me thinking that it's not me, it's not something I've done, it's not a particular mod, it's not a previous mod. I have none of those mods installed. I haven't even really been on um, FS22 on PS4. I had a few kind of brief looks when the game came out, but I haven't really done any more with it. So yeah, and, and it wasn't really a particularly complicated mod with a lot of options either. It was one of the tractors, clicked on it and boom, just off it went, turned off. So still very disgruntled, still annoyed with that situation. I'm going to plug away, I'm going to try. I know I've missed what, when did I go, last Wednesday was when I had all the big problems with the, with the mods and I tried to do the same mod review, it must have been five or six times, and in the end it, was, it, it crashed on something I was ch looking at that wasn't even a mod, it was, it was something just in the store, and I was comparing it to one of the mods, and I, I thought I'd have a quick look, off it went. By that point I'd kind of had enough. So, I, I will try my hardest, all I can say is I'll try my hardest to, to do some more, it's going to mean probably doing it in small chunks. I know a lot of people have suggested, and I know DJ messaged me, thank you DJ and all the, all the people that have, to say, look, why don't I just go on and do my mod reviews on PC, um, but only review the cross-play mods, you know, because that was what, what you would have on console. And I, I, I really do appreciate the sentiment. I enjoy the, I, I like the idea. I... I, I <laughs> This is going to sound absolutely ridiculous, but I know I'm kind of cutting off my nose to spite, spite my face. I'm very much in the camp that, yes, this because I, I do this full time now. I'm a YouTuber, that's what I do. This is my kind of my livelihood. If I can't do mod reviews, that's a big chunk of what I do. You know, I do my Let's Plays, do mod reviews, do map tours, you know, stuff like that. Um, with the mod reviews being much, much harder to do now, the obvious solution would be, okay, we'll just do them on PC. You know, it's going to be a lot easier to do. Switch over, do them on PC, but only review the console stuff. Um, I'm still going to need to go on to console because part of that is doing slot counts and stuff. I need to let people know what the slot counts are because that's what people have asked for. So I will continue to do that. But in the back of my mind, I'm very much kind of... It's, like I say, it's going to sound ridiculous. I don't see why I should have to. Well, you know, rant time. Buckle in, everyone. Are you ready? You've missed these, haven't you? You really have. Why should I have to? This game has been released on all platforms with crossplay to play on all platforms. And I know you probably the last few videos when I've might be moaning about you know this situation. Everyone's attitude. You know, you get your PC hardliners straight away, well, I should have bought a PC. I've got a PC, I'm a console gamer. That's what I do. Giants have released this game as a cross-platform, multi-platform game. I have never, I, I, I don't think I ever had a game crash on FS19 while doing a mod review. Not one. Not one. I had five game crashes on one mod review the other day. That's unacceptable. And I'm not the only person that's messaging them and letting them know. Now, I know they posted their thing the other day about how happy they are and how excited and how awesome it is they've sold three million copies. Brilliant. 
very happy for them. And all the accolades, when they put their video up of all the accolades, all the great reviews and stuff they've had from people saying what a fantastic game it is and the best ever, best in the genre, that kind of thing. Again, fantastic. But you can't ignore people. You can't ignore the fact there's a problem. I, I, I'm, honestly, I'm baffled by it. No, the only thing I can think is they don't know what's causing it. But something is different between FS19 and FS22, quite clearly, because it didn't do it once. Um, and I am kind of off my nose to spite my face. It, you know, I probably could have done a month ago, just said, right, okay, that's it. Um, I'm, I'm losing money, I'm losing income, I'm losing, you know, views, I'm, you know, because I'm not putting up mod reviews, because I can't get it to go for an entire mod review without crashing. So, switch to PC. That's the obvious solution, isn't it? Buy an Xbox, that's the next obvious solution, although there's a monetary implication to that. Um, so today I've disconnected my external hard drive. Um, I unplugged everything, took it all out, because a lot of people said what you need is a hard reset. So rather than just closing the game down, turning off your PlayStation, you need to unplug it completely, do a hard reset. I've tried that. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll go from there. Um, so this episode's not going to be necessarily um, a huge leap forward um, because that was the next thing. I was like, sorry, I've done that again. I've gone off on a massive rant. But that's, I, I'm just, you know, the whole time I was away, I, I found it very relaxing, very calming. It's the first time in quite a while I've been away without my, my console again. So I didn't make any videos. I couldn't make any videos. I didn't have my stuff with me. But it gives you time to think about what's going on and kind of assess, you know, how you want to tackle it and what you're going to do. And I have been ser seriously tempted by saying, you know what, yeah, PC, I'll, I'll just do that. It makes more sense. But it's also going to take me, personally, twice as long to do everything. Easily twice as long. Because I've got to go in and find out, um, do all the research and make all my notes and work out all the slot counts and all that kind of stuff first. Then make the video on PC. Then edit it. Now, I can edit a video and a, a let's play and anything I want to edit on my PlayStation really fast because it's what I've always done. PC takes me ages and again I know people say oh it's really easy if, you've, if it's what you've always done and it's what you're used to absolutely I 100% agree it's if you know if you're very good at it if you're if you're an editor <laughs> then yeah it's a piece of cake for me it's going to take ages so again I'm in that position of, well, it's double handling everything anyway, double the time when I shouldn't have to. Shouldn't be in this position. So, once this is off and running, I'm going to get over to the ploughing. Um, I need to, I think what we'll do, we'll buy a lime, we'll get our lime spreader because we need one. So that's the next purchase for the farm. So we're going to get the lime spread sorted. I think two runs around will be enough and then we can set this off. And um, so moving forward, what we're looking at, and I've, I've talked about this a, a little bit. I do want to do pigs on here. I was looking at, I was I'm really hoping, I know there's a couple of mods out um, that, that make pig food. Um, possibly you might make some pig food or we might just buy it, I'm not too sure. I haven't decided on that yet. We're going to do the bakery. We're going to need a grain mill. I want to put in the stone crusher because I'm going to do the stones. It's going to take absolutely ages. So between each episode, I'm going to have a load of off-camera work to do. Um, and that's what a lot of people were saying. I say a lot of people. A few people commented and say, I'm doing a lot of off-camera work while we're not showing it. Um, the reason behind that is, you know, once... Oh, no, that's not right again. Right. Um, that things like picking stones... Like, like this, obviously, while I'm, I'm sort of talking, it's more like a stream at the moment. I'm doing one job and I'm having a chat, having a rant and a moan about everything that's going on. If I just did an entire episode of me picking stones, and on these fields that will take absolutely ages, people would get bored, I would get bored. My kind of rule of thumb has always been to try and make videos that I would want to watch myself. If I would sit down and say, yeah, I'd, I'd watch that, I'd happily watch that, um, then I've kind of ticked a box. So you have to, I have to kind of weigh up what am I going to show, what am I not going to show, how much of something am I going to show me doing. 
That's why I put that little bit up earlier of the mulching being done. Because I've done mulching, you know, and there will be mulching done as we move on through all the various Let's Plays, all the stuff we end up doing, all the new maps, anything that comes out from this point, of course mulching will be done. But obviously I'm hoping <laughs> we're going to get different mulches, bigger mulches, wider, you know. So yes, the jobs will be the same, but the equipment used will be different. The landscapes are different. It's the same as it's always been with any Let's Play, any, you know, anything like that. And I want to try and get as many of these new productions in as possible. Uh, the beehives will be going in. Um, probably a couple. Actually, we could probably do that. We could get a couple of those in. Because there's been a few new modded... Um, whatchamacallit? The... Uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the top of the field. I'm going to go right away across now. Now we're looking for seed. Yeah, we're going to load more. And uh, I'm going to leave this chugging away. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, beehives. Yeah, there's been a whole load of new stuff come out for beehives. So there's uh, the collection points for the pallets. There's ones now that aren't just single pallet. So I think what we'll do is probably put in one of those. All right, let's let get you going. Anything it misses, I'll come and tidy up, but hopefully that'll go backwards and forwards now. Until it hits the middle berm, it'll probably stop. Then we'll go to the other side and we'll tidy up any bits that has missed, because there'll be a triangle up this end. If we look at the shape of the field, you'll see what I mean. So, because it's going straight across, we'll have this triangle up here, will need to be tidied. It'll probably do the same when it gets to the berm, sort of a triangle there, and the same with the bomb bit. That's fairly straight across there, but there is a telegraph pole right there. So we'll get around that. So that's been done. Let's get that back on, that back on, and that back on. Uh, I need to get back over to the farm. Ploughing, stone picking. Oh, let's, let's place the beehives. We've got a couple of beehives in. Money's going to drop quite a bit because we're going to get the beehives in and we're also going to get the lime spreader. Hop the wall. Uh, I'll see you back at the farm in a minute. Let's get those placed. We'll start with a couple of beehives, I think. And... I was thinking about this. There's a bee, like um production chains building now for it, like a honey storage facility, which I thought about. Oh, gee, I'm walking over. I might as well just do it all in one foul swoop. It's good to be back. Oh, that's something else to do. Hang on just a mo. Okay. Just a zone markers still miss it. I'm still missing my side panel. I'm very sad, very sad about that. The toolbox is working out brilliantly. Schultz modding. Love it. it it's perfect. It does everything I need to do. Uh, so, yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to put them here, I said, didn't I? Not sure how flat it's going to be. Let's have a look, shall we? So, if we go to animals, let's go to our bees. I'm going to go for the long, the long, the larger one. Swing them round. Let's put one there. One there. Uh, do I do with two or do I go with three? It's a lot of money, isn't it? Oh, you know what? We can, we're going to make 40 grand doing the uh, thing. Do I stick one? Stick one at a slight angle there. Right, so what we've got here is a load of options. So we've got that one there, Beehive Pallet Location. That does four, I think. It's a slightly longer one. I can't remember who the, all the modders are. I um, know oh we had a load of different ones, didn't we? Let me just double-check this, because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, we had the triple one. Who was the triple one by? Uh, Beehive Pallet Spawner. That was by VN, VNF, VNSFDG2. Um, and then we've got the other one. Well, there's another two, aren't there? Uh, the one that's a building. The Honey Pallet Warehouse by Tarxy007, which is that one. But then we've got these ones here. And there's a whole, a whole mess of them, a whole load of them. More Honey Pallet Placeables uh, by Mr. Hector. So I might go with one of these. So we've got a four pallet, an eight pallet, a six, a twelve, and then you've got them it's different dimensions and they stack the pallets as well. So that one's for twenty-four. 
and it's 212. It's one slot. Stacks them in two layers. How big is it? So it's a fair size. We swing it round. I'm just trying to think where we can put it. It's fairly flat. Mind you, it's saying 212. That's saying 246, which means we've got a bit of a slope here, haven't we? Uh, probably do with somewhere better to put that. That's even more expensive. Nope. About up in the yard where it's flatter. Maybe I need to go for a smaller one. If we go for a 12, so that should be 224. Blimey. Okay, well, don't leave this with me. I'll, I'll work out where to put one of these. I'm just worried if I plonk this down now, that's going to really deform the ground because it's not level. Can't get between there, can I? Maybe I need to flatten the land, land first. Sweet. Is it because it's late? There's no bees coming out of it? Maybe. Uh, anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm, my thoughts are wandering. Uh, right, ploughing. Oh, yeah. That was a thing as well. Let's have a look at... It's that thing of being away for a while and coming back and it's like... I've got so much to do, I need to get it all done. I think we'll just go for that. We'll go for the big one. We'll go for the big boy. Uh, we'll go for the extension. Uh, what do we want to put on it? I think we'll go for Razor Steins, Wise. Oh, I do like the Narrows, but we're going to be going over ploughed fields, so we'll go with Wides. Spreading discs. Licence plate. I think we'll go on this one with... Uh, let's take it, no plate. How much is that? 89,800. We've got the money to do it. Let's buy that. Did I say I'd bought a trailer? In all the few jobs we've done leading up to this, um, we bought a flatbed trailer that we're going to be able to use for stuff. Right, so we need to go and get that. So where did I leave? Right, the plough is on the Magnum. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing I was going to say. The Magnum. Um, in all the work I was doing with the mulching using the Magnum, uh, the fuel, I had to refuel it because I ran out of fuel. Well, ran out, I was almost out. So I went back to the, the diesel tank and uh, we paid for a bit of diesel. That's why the money went back down again. I bought a little bit more um, liquid fertiliser. I bought some more diesel. And repairs, this needed repairing. It was at 50%. Have a guess, how much do you think it cost me to repair this when it was at 50%? 11 grand I don't know what I've done to it but 11 grand oh yes so I've got the mowing stuff here so what we're going to be doing is as we move forward I need to get a load of mowing done um, I'm going to sort out yeah, I don't want to give too much away on that I'm trying to think oh that's the other thing as well we were going to place the quarry I don't want to do too much in one episode I'm trying to think of all the things I was going to do but we do need to place Get the plan done. We are losing light fast. We'll go and get the lime spreader. We'll buy lime. Get the liming done. Oh, yeah, stone picking. This is going to go fairly fast. Nine, nine metres wide. Look at the fuel. This thing is thirsty. I don't think the rock picker 
has much of it doesn't have a particularly high requirement is it for horsepower i think i might go and grab the john deere so while i'm doing the plowing we can get the rock picking done at the same time and then i'll grab the uh massey and then we can get the lime spread done so i can get all three processes kind of done at the same time so this is what I wanted, you know, this is a kind of, not an interim episode, this, this is all stuff I'm doing. Um, but I didn't want it to just be like, next episode was September 2, second half of September, I say, oh look, all these fields are all prepped and done. This is all the stuff that's happening behind the scenes. This is all the, all the work that's being done. The, the, you know, the mulching needs to be done, the spraying needs to be done, the ploughing needs to be done, the stone removals need to be done, the lime spreading needs to be done. It's all work. The beehives are in, I've just got I just need to find that location. So hopefully by the second part of September then we'll have some, we'll have a bit of honey anyway to start off with. Um, I'm gonna put some storage sheds in as well. And I think when I do the silage, we have got the silage clamp. I did say early on. There's no silage clamp at the biogas plant, and that's actually not too much of a problem. Um, thank you to Baron Papa uh, for the message. Um, of course, I've got the silage clamp at the cow um, at the cow barn, so I can use that one. So we'll probably use, we'll fill up that, and we'll do silage in that, and then hay. We're going to need to be able to store it. Now I did think about a hay loft, but there are a few multi-fruit silos knocking about now that we can put hay in. Um, I did think about doing. Because I've got my 50 bales of um, straw, I think I might I might just bale the hay as well. I was going to do it all loose, but I really enjoyed doing the baling the other day, and it was I found it really therapeutic, and I really enjoyed spending that time with the telehandler, just going kind of whizzing around the fields, collecting up bales, and stacking them. I, I, I don't know why, I just found it very therapeutic. Um, so we should also have by the second part, we should have a load of um, strawberries up at the. Um, garden centre um, we'll keep chugging away with those so what I might do is put a, sh like a shelter or building or a shed up there to store the strawberries in or under and the same over here at the farm for the honey and then we need to yeah that, so moving forward we're going to be looking at all the stuff I said about grain mill and we're going to need to do some cows up I don't know whether I need to change what I was going to do. I was thinking on, um, because we've got the cow barn here already, on um, Obelleron I was going to do cows, but I think what I might do on Obelleron is do pigs on Obelleron and do cows on here, because I need the um, I need the milk for butter on here. So I might do that. Oh, let's get to it. funny angle right let's hurry work up again I'll tidy up the bits I need to let's go and grab the, the Massey what I'll do is while this one's being ploughed I'll lime I don't know if it's going to let me I've been just fertilised whether it will let me hire a worker but I'll lime field three this is six isn't it that's three two three yeah we'll go and get the lime spread up we'll buy a load of lime They've got the uh, lime purchase point, or there is a lime, lime purchase We've got a purchase point, let's just say that. Up at the, um, or up across at the store. We'll go and do that, get the lime spreading done. So by the second part of September, so I'll see you in a bit, we should have the stones collected. I may just have a massive pile of stones somewhere. Uh, I'll find out a way of getting a spawn point in for the bees, and we'll get the lime spreading done. So let's go and whiz and get that. At least I can get it started now. Then we can move forward and then I'll need to get on with the sowing and unfortunately it's the problem with having all the fields ready at the same time as I've said before normally if you had one field done you prep that one then the next one will be ready harvest you do that and you'd have just a rolling cycle of fields but all the fields are kind of done at the same time that's my own fault because I harvest them and I forgot that I had field two and we did field 23 as a contract and we were given the field so we've suddenly got four fields all in one go I suppose what I should really have done is just focused on one field, get that done, then move to the next one, rather than try and do them all at the same time. Um, but we'll get there. Let's get this lining done.
Not too far to go. Please don't be flickering wing mirrors. No, that's good. No flickering mirrors. Oh, hang on. So yeah, the weird thing is, I know a lot of people have said, oh yeah, the, the problem with the um, game crashing is Calmston. Um, I've had it on Calmston, I've had it happen on Elm Creek, I've had it happen, yeah, it's, it's not, it's, it's in all honesty, um, I think I had one game crash on here, and that was one of the mods that had come out, and I thought, oh, that would be quite cool for the map, and off camera I was doing some work, and I went to have a look at it, and the game crashed. Um, so again, it was it was the install menu that was that caused the problem. There we go. Uh, we just open the cover. Let's open that way. So we want to go. Oh, there's our trailer. Yes, yeah, so I've only had one on Carmston. Oh, there go the mirrors. Great. But I have had it happen on Elm Creek over and over and over again. So I don't know. Let's... Oh, I did have enough room. I thought it was too close to the rocks. This is not going to be cheap, but lime is cheaper than most stuff. And I'm going to have to come back a few times because these are big fields. The other... How have I managed to do that straight away? I just pulled forward, and now it won't let me go forward or backward. Brilliant. There we go. Close that. I don't like doing jobs like this in the dark, but I don't have a lot of choice. Here. I miss my side panels as well, not being able to put the main beams on. <laughs> I liked having those forward lights as well. Never mind. Right, well, as you can see, I've got the lime shredder we've just bought. Money's right down. Once that sewing contract's complete, there'll be another 42 grand. Well, no, it'll be a little bit less because I borrowed some gear, didn't I? Um, oh, wing mirrors are flickering. And, uh, yeah, we should have a load of this work done. Stone picking, lime spreading, ploughing should all be done. And we should have some stuff to collect. Um, and then what we'll probably do is we'll put in couple of shelters and I want to put in the stone crusher um, so we could either make our own lime then or we could just get the money from selling lime that's the plan actually you know what I should do how quickly it got dark. Amazing sunsets though. Whoa. What what's the road? Not sure how wide this is gonna spread. So let's open it out. Oh, pretty wide. At least it'll be done, that'll be for th three harvests lime, isn't it? I assume it is. That's that thing, isn't it, as well? Um, FS19, it was always three harvests, so I don't see any reason why that'd be any different. But the good thing is, I can just go over everything, because it needs to be limed anyway. Lime down plows, I've missed the end, but I'll come back and do that. It's a problem with doing it in the dark. Right, I will see you, well, in the morning, but the second part of September.
It's six minutes past seven in the morning. It's the second half of September here on Carmson Farm. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the second, well, the latter part of yesterday, I knocked the time back down to half speed. So not even real time, half speed, and it took hours. I really do mean hours. Um, I've got piles, two rather large piles of stones that we got off the fields. Our fields now are, let's have a look, uh, right, so we can have a look here. And we've got, so field six, all done. There's a little bit there I missed on the lime. They are ploughed, they are limed, they are double fertilised. Um, they were mulched as well. So six, three, two, and 23 are all done. They're all prepped and ready for planting or seeding. I think, I don't know if I'm going to do a mix or whether I'm going to do, I'm trying to think actually, whether I'll do, I might do like soybean, canola, I, don't know, I, might, I might do a mix. Haven't really decided. So as you can see, they're all good to go. Stones removed, but it took a long, long time. I have got a contract on going at the moment, seeding field 13. Field 13 is massive. It's going to take ages. I have borrowed equipment to do that. Um, it'll pay off. Well, it'll pay about 50 grand um, because I think it's 5,700 uh, to borrow the equipment. And I'm going to have to refill the seeder a few times to do that. Actually, I don't know how much seed I've got left in here. Um, I need to put that back on to field info on okay it's got a little bit of seed left in here we could probably buy some more at some point um, now comes the scary bit <laughs> let's have a look at this damage 26% oh, 5 that's not so bad 22 let's repair these I know it was 11 grand when it was at 50% on the uh, Magnum, so I dread to think what this is going to be now. Let's see if they'll all pop up, shall we? It'll be here. So the Magnum, what's that going to cost me? Oh, blind, look at the repair bill. 10,549. This is crazy. I mean, I know, I suppose, when you think about it, each of these fields were mulched, ploughed, limed, stones removed, second fertilising. Between the three tractors, to be fair. But that's still... That's absolutely bonkers. Massive repair bill. It's got to be done, isn't it? Uh, let's grab that now. And point it towards these two. That's better. Uh, the John Deere, 2,858, not so bad. Massey, 4,573. <laughs> wow, okay. That was, um, that was a lot of money. We need to get some more money back into this farm budget. Uh, next step then. I've got seeding to do. Oh yeah, I did put the... I think this is an 8. There's a little bit of a bump there down, but that's right. I think this is an 8. This will take 8 pallets here. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to get a seeder going on here first. Then I'm going to grab the telehandler. We're going to go over to the greenhouses, check on the strawberry situation. On the way past, we'll check on the wall, and then we'll just keep an eye on that cedar. Um, yeah, wow, okay. Blimey, that's, that's um, what we're going to put on the cedar. Hang on a second. The cedar inside. It's not. <laughs> Where did I put the cedar? Oh, yes, there. It's not huge, is it? Um, we'll put that on the Massey. I need to get a jet wash of some description. Let's zoom in. Uh, then I'm also going to 
maybe, maybe the biogas pump because that's pre-owned and there's plenty of space there I think sticking the debris crusher production plant over there and then I'll get all of that put into a, a trailer we'll get that underway as well so what we're going to put in first let's go with soybean first this is the 8 isn't it I don't even look when I just hooked up to it a 800 yeah 8 metre cedar to leave the cover open definitely going to need to buy more aren't we close the cover we can get our own fields underway oh they're going to need rolling as well aren't they oh, oh, oh. so much fun right uh, we have got a roller don't we we have got a roller it's only the small one though Maybe we'll need to invest. We'll need to invest in the large one. Let's open this out. It's a lovely morning. It did rain overnight. Let's get that going. This is a direct drill, um, but the fields the fields were saying they needed ploughing, and I didn't want to have a deficit, so it just made more sense to get on with it. It is a bit bumpy. Like some. Yeah, I can see a bit better. Oh, we're getting there. Right, let's turn that off. We'll get our sewing done. Yeah, I'll probably put soybean in this one. I think I'll put canola in field two to the north of us. Maybe sunflower to the south? I don't know. Maybe, some, maybe soybean in that one as well. Then our field 23, it was our free build. I might do some more wheat or barley because if we are going to do flour for the bakery, I mean we've got a load of wheat and we've got a load of barley. Actually you probably don't need to this time around. Maybe on, on the next rotation. But field 23 is not a huge field so maybe that might not be a bad idea. Swing that around. Let's get into the light. Ooh. Little wobble on. That's better. No, it seems like, for me anyway, it was uh, ages ago that I had my ranty pants on again. Sorry about that. You, you know, if you've already turned off because that annoyed you, then you won't be seeing this bit, so... I kind of get on those. I was thinking when I was going to come to edit this, I might edit that out, and so if I'm saying that now, you'll be like, what, what rant are you talking about? I don't know. I might leave it in. But, um, yeah, I just kind of talk about stuff that's on my mind don't I so it's on my mind so between now and next Thursday lunchtime when I'm heading off again for a few days I will try and get as many videos up as I can I want to get more on Carmsden some more on Obeleron and fingers crossed mods permitting game crashes permitting some mod reviews um, I, a couple of people have asked because I hadn't put up any videos if I was away am I going to retrospectively do the mod reviews for the mods that I've missed I don't usually do that um, I was thinking about maybe doing a kind of pick of the week have a look back over the mods that came out over the week that I've been away or away 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 from the PlayStation um, and maybe do a kind of my my pick of of those mods Again, it's just an idea. So once I've got a couple of rounds going on this, we'll get another, one of the other workers on the rest of this. We'll grab the telehandler and we will whiz over to the greenhouses at the garden centre. I've only got, I haven't even got a full pallet of honey yet, so I'm not going to put another shelter in here. Oh man, how is that already emptied? big chunk of that 50 grand is going to be on seed. I can see that on field 13 because I only set it off going a little while ago. It's already run out. The problem is that the, um, the seed that it's given me 
is one of the ASD Amber Zone. Is it the Condor? I think so. And it's split seed and fertilizer, and the actual seed tank is only 1,600 litres. It doesn't last very long. Unfortunately, Uh, I will see you in the telehandler over there in a bit. We'll get that put in, and I think I might sort the debris crusher out. I think the debris crusher is, what was it, 15 grand, wasn't it, when I did it on Elm Creek? We'll get one of those in, um, so we can get that going. So, like I say, next episode, we're going to get some grass work done. We're going to do some hay, possibly put some into the bunker for silage work. And we'll get all that stone put in as well. I have heard that locally, there is an old um, stone, old, old stone workings, not even a quarry really. Not Nate, but like ancient Stone Age, a Stone Age pit, something like that. Anyway, um, so I might have to go looking for that at some point. If there's one out there, might be worthwhile. Soybean planting is going really well. I have, the money's gone down a little bit, I have put a debris crusher um, over at the biogas plant. Um, that'll be next episode, we'll take a run out to that, so you'll see that then. Uh, we're almost at the garden centre in the telehandler and we'll see how we're looking for strawberries. We're going to put them to one side for storage for the bakery, which we will get to. Just wondering how many we've got. There's four large. Actually, that's not too bad, is it? Let's close that a little bit. Yeah, four large greenhouses. If we do. Oh, I can't do this from in here. Yep, that's on the ground. Let's try that. No way, did I get that? It's like some kind of miracle. It's a miracle. This won't work as well though. If I can line up in the centre. No way. I'm astounded. Absolutely astounded. So we've got two pallets at each greenhouse. How well did I do? That's alright. I'll take that. Uh, so, what we need to do, I assume they're both full, actually, I didn't even think to look at that, 400, 400, yep. Cool. There's no more suddenly spawned, are there? Now we're looking for what we've got. Oh yeah, 375, so we're 25 litres off another pallet, that's pretty good. Uh, right, so what we're going to do, let's go into build mode, I wonder if I can put one behind here. Under sheds, and this is part of, is it the Omatana pack? I think it's the Omatana pack, and the price of these is absolutely brilliant. Um, we've got a carport large, and I thought I'd use that. Yeah, if we stick one of these in, can we get an angle like that? No, that way. And we can get the uh, telehandler in all right, can't we? What do you reckon? Does that look all right? Try and get that straight on. That'll do. 1001. Let's go and stick those. Have I given myself enough room to get in there? 
Sometimes I can't see to the right. That is the only downside to this. <laughs> nice! Now we're looking. Am I clear of it? I am. We'll store them all under there. Let's go outside. Rather than using the forks, I'll do this a little bit quicker. Back that up to there. Swing the main body around. We've got a brim on. Thought that might work, but maybe not. That'll work. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Excellent. Right. Now, it doesn't seem like it, but I've got a huge amount done in this episode. Uh, let me try that one on that. The forks. Actually, yeah. My depth perception was way off. I could have gone a lot further forward. Let's do that. Now, are we going to grow anything different in here? For the time being, we're going to stick with strawberries. I don't know if we might go with something else later on. And down the line, we might do. We'll see what happens with regards to doing the bakery. Because we might get to a point we've got so many strawberries, we just don't need anymore. In which case, we'll then flip them over and we'll put them onto something else. But for the time being, we'll stick with strawberries. But everything is going to plan. Just shot those forward to about there. Hmm. Still have to say, sometimes the physics, I was going to say the physics on the forks, I'm finding so much better than I ever did on. 19, but then sometimes you get that weird bit where they just seem to stick, you know? We can do with really these bushes are in the way, aren't they? Maybe we'll do a bit of a brush removal but for the time being I think that's where I'm going to leave it back in the saddle I look forward to seeing you on the next episode I hope you've enjoyed this one if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching